The government has taken zero tolerance policy against illegal migration, State Minister for Foreign Affairs Shahir Alam said today. Our government will not tolerate any illegal practices in migration, the State Minister said at BRAC Migration Media Award 2018 event at the BRAC Center Inn in Dhaka. Even a single case of harassment and a life lost is important, one success story of reaching Europe illegally cannot be an example for others to follow, the State Minister said. He suggested that those who had gone to Libya with the ultimate purpose of reaching Europe illegally should be brought under law. The State Minister said Bangladesh stopped sending Bangladeshis to Libya in 2014 because of civil wars there, yet some people went there, knowing well what was happening in Libya and the Mediterranean. Some 40 Bangladeshis were feared dead and 15 were rescued from the Mediterranean on May 9 when a boat carrying nearly 80 people were crossing the sea to reach Europe. We don't encourage illegal migration. Therefore, we signed an agreement with the European Union and are repatriating and reintegrating the irregular migrants from Europe, Shahir Alam said. He has advised local journalists to investigate and identify the middlemen who are duping the overseas job seekers and finally leaving them in danger. EU acting head of cooperation in Bangladesh Dirt Boss said EU does not want to stop migration but dangerous and unprotected migration. She said EU, therefore, is working with IOM and BRAC to return and reintegrate irregular Bangladeshi migrants and create awareness against illegal migration. Professor Drive AAMS Arafan Sadiq, former vice-chancellor of Dhaka University, said the government should focus more on the welfare of the migrants. They should get more respect and dignity at home, their health and education should get more priority, the former VC said. He suggested that media work in way that common people are not defrauded. He also demanded more allocation of resources for the farmers, ready-made garment workers and migrant workers, who are the backbone of the country's economy. BRAC Acting Executive Director Asif Saleh has suggested that the Bangladesh embassies are broader equipped with more resources to better help the migrants in trouble. He said migrant voices remain unheard and the journalists are the ones who can give voice to them. IOM Chief of Mission Georgi Giguri said while there are negative aspects of migration, there are also a lot of positive stories that need to be highlighted too. Sharif Al Hassan, head of BRAC's migration program, in a presentation said that return of migrants, especially women migrants from the Middle East after facing abuses dominated media reporting last year. This means it is important for the government to take up reintegration and rehabilitation program for the abused returnee migrants, he said. BRAC has recognized 13 journalists for their quality reporting last year. They include Awaza Mudan Buyan of New Age, Poramal Palmer of the Daily Star, Arafat Ara of the Financial Express and Shafi Chowdhury of Dainik Jalalabad in Salet, regional newspaper. BRAC recognizes 13 journalists on Tuesday, May 21, 2019 for their quality reporting last year. Photo, Star. The awardees in TV news category are Mezbah Al Islam of Independent, Meraz Hussain Ghazi of Banglavision, and Morsht Haseeb Hassan of Channel 24. Bonnie Amin of Independent Television got the award in TV program category. The awardees in radio category are MD Mostafizur Rahman of Bangladesh Betar. In online category, the awardees include Imral Kays of Prio.com, Abdullah Al Hussain of Bead News 24.com, and Sadif Sorab of Bangla Tribune. ATN Bangla Director Debate, Hassan Ahmed Chowdhury Karan got the award in Blog, Opinion category. News script taken from the Daily Star. Thanks for watching.